Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Liz, AKA Royal Beauty. If you are new to my channel, I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe and also hit the notification bell. The notification bell is very important if you subscribe because it helps you and it makes sure that you catch my videos. Um, a lot of people that are subscribed don't get to see my videos because they don't hit the bell too. So make sure you hit the bell because there's so much of us here on YouTube that if you really wanna catch our videos, you wanna make sure you hit the notification bell right next to subscribe that way whenever i post a new video you'll be notified or you'll see it in your email and to my loyal royal subscribers welcome back thank you so much for rocking with me thank you so much we hit 3k hey right before my birthday before my birthday before my birthday hey so it's my birthday month i'm a taurus where my Taurus is at, make sure you comment down below. If you are a Taurus, it is Taurus season. Let's celebrate together. Make sure you comment down. Comment down. Show your girls some Taurus love. <laughs> I am back. I'm so happy to be back. I've been doing, I mean, I've done the vlogs. I've been doing vlogs, but something that is me. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to be back on camera talking to y'all or to myself and then posting it for y'all. <laughs> Cause I had an amazing couple of weeks, but I've been busy, had a lot of work to come back to, to review for you guys. And one of the main things that I really wanted to get off of my list was sent to me from Janet Collection, was gifted to me from Jan Janet Collection. I am a Cosmo Biz examiner. And what that means is I examine for Cosmo Biz. So they have a whole rack of amazing products and hair and stuff like that. And a lot of times we are sent that stuff to review for you guys, to share with you guys, give you guys our honest opinion. So I love that because it's not a pressure, it's us telling you what we really, really think. Enough, okay? Now today I'm gonna to be reviewing some hair for you guys. Do you see this pretty hair? They're from Janet Collection, and they are actually very, very new, um, but there are a couple of reviews uh, up now, so you probably have seen them already, but I wanted to go ahead and show you them on me. It's a different look for me. I definitely love um, the faux locks look, especially crochet faux locks. Oh my gosh, they make things so much easier because nobody has time to do all the wrapping that comes with goddess locks. Sometimes it can be a little tedious. So I love being able to just quickly snatch and do this look really, really nicely. I actually had some help this time. My friend Malika helped me put these in and I am a big fan of Jenna Collection. I've loved them forever. So this is super exciting to try another one of their new products. And this time it happens to be these faux locks that I have in. And these are their rockin' locks, okay? So I don't know if you guys have seen these yet, but these are all the rave right now. They actually have a bob version of these, and which is really funny, I got this hair to review a week before a client of mine came in and I did her hair with the bob version. So I've already worked with this hair before and I already knew I would like it. Um, I already found the con or the it wasn't really a con, but I already found something that I knew would kind of annoy me uh, when I did her hair, but I figured I'd work my way around it. Rock and locks are um, extremely natural in texture, and that is so true. I love that I didn't really, I didn't slick down my edges or anything like that because it just, it just looks so natural. And natural, I mean fluffy, thick, and rough if you will, I don't know if that's a good word for it, but they look super, super like you just wake up in the morning and kind of go. I like that look. So for this kind of hair, I mean, it's not the pretty twist that you usually would get where you like want to slick down your hairs. So I wasn't, that wasn't my go-to with this. I was about to slick down my edges, but I just decided, you know what, let me just leave it because it blends so naturally into my hair. So I left that alone. Um, it does say that it comes with a crochet, um, well, it doesn't say that it comes with a crochet loop. It just shows you a little picture here that um, signifies that you can crochet it. Um, but that would confuse one. And that is where it brings me to the issue of how to put this in. It was definitely very easy to put it in and crochet it through, but it doesn't have a loop. So what you have to do is tie it. You basically have to loop it yourself or feed it through like you would do any crochet style. And then what I was doing was basically just tying it. 
like a knot almost. Um, not twice because that's not even necessary. But once you tie it, now you have two, two dreads with one, which is super cool because these are 20 inches. These, the long ones especially are 20 inches. So with you doing that, it's still long. That's pretty good. And you get two long rows. That means you're going to be finished in half the time. Super cool, super easy, super full before we even knew it. So when I did it on my client and we did that, her hair was done within the hour. Like we literally cornrowed her hair and then put these things in and she was out. But the only part that kind of like bothered me was the fact that I couldn't do my individuals in the front because sometimes a lot of times when we do these faux locks or crochet styles we like to do at least the perimeter um in individuals so that when you put it up in little nice styles it looks like you really just got your hair you sat down for hours getting that that stuff done and that's just a look that sometimes you know we want to go for we don't want to see the crochet Corn roll. We don't we don't want to see that. So that kind of turned me off just a little bit, but I got over it. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, my client didn't have any individuals placed around because she didn't she didn't care for that, and it looked just fine on her. But it's just a preference for me, and I, I wish I would have been able to do that. Another great thing about this though was that um, they give you quite enough in the packet. It seems like it's not enough, but like I said, when you do one it's like having two because once you tie it now you have two dreads falling so that's a good thing about it that I really really like so um half my head could be done with two or three packs that's why I still have one here and plus this red color it was a no-go for me I started putting it in it was cute when I looked at the packet but then once I had it you know once we started putting it in um Malika was even like yeah nah I don't really like the red too much I really liked it just like this but I kept a couple strands of the red somewhere in there just for a pop you know just for a pop so that's in there okay so another thing that I could say about this hair is that it's very lightweight but I feel like if you put too much you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the weight. So, um, for example, she was putting most of it on this side at first, and I could already feel like the weight on this side. So it's really up to you, your preference, and how full you want it to look because it could be really, really nice and big and pretty. But if you don't put a lot of it, then it's gonna be a little bit thinner. Um, it just it just really all depends on your preference. I definitely, definitely, definitely do re recommend this look only because I think everybody should see what they look like with dreads. I, I really do. I honestly think everybody should see what they look like with dreads, with different hairstyles in general because if you just do the same hairstyles over and over again, it gets boring. Even the same wigs over and over again, they get boring. So switch it up sometimes, throw on some dreads real quick, especially if it's crochet because it comes right out. It goes right in and comes right out. It's so easy. I definitely think that the quality of the hair is superb and will last me long. So I definitely plan on reusing this hair. I'm really excited to do that. Yeah, I love it. It adds another little flair to it. So I love it. I, I would definitely recommend it if you're going to a beach or you're going out for the summer or if you want to keep your hair up as a protective style. Um, especially for people who work out that are always asking me how they could still look cute but not have you know weave in when they're working out that sweats out girl crochet styles the braids or bomba locks faux locks like this are perfect make sure to check out the description box that is where I will link um, a couple of stores that are selling this hair already even though it's new it is brand new spanking new but there are some stores that are selling it already. So in the description, I will link a um, a link for you guys to check that out. Do not forget, if you guys purchase this hair, to tag me. I want to see your hairstyles, especially if it was inspired by watching this video. I love seeing things like that. I have a lot of people who do it naturally. So now I'm encouraging you to do it as well. Just tag me, let me know, show me, hit me up in my DMs so I can see what your hairstyle looks like because I want to size you. So that is it for today, you guys. I think that is all that I have um, on the Rockin' Locks from Janet Collection. Love it. Definitely do. Thank you so much, Janet Collection, for um, letting me try out this hair. And thank you so much to Cosmo Biz for the opportunity, as always. I appreciate you guys. And do not forget to subscribe on your way out. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay royal.